Hi, I'm wearing my Wiki Women in Red badge, a present from Roger, thank you very much. You're welcome. Now then, uh, I'm going to prompt Roger on a, a story that I've uh, heard about what got him into the uh, into starting Wiki Women in Red. That's what I'm calling it, it's Women in Red. Um, Roger, I heard about an 1840 anti-slavery painting, that paintings are a link to you starting this, this business. Tell us a little bit about it, because I'm rambling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was inspired by uh, a problem that the National Portrait Gallery had uh, got thousands of paintings that, are, that they look after for the people of Britain. Right, yeah. They've all been given to them and then an American took 3,000 paintings off their website and put them onto Wikipedia. Which sounds like a bit of a crime until you realise, well actually all the paintings are out of copyright. They don't belong to the National Portrait Gallery, they belong to the people who now inherit them as, as part of the culture of, of the world. Um, and one of the paintings that I was looking at, it's a huge painting. Um, it wouldn't fit in, in, in an average room. Um, and it's of the 1840 anti-slavery com com uh, conference. They'd invited people from all over the world, from America, from Jamaica, from Barbados, even from France. Sounds amazing, <laughs> sounds amazing. And on this painting, there are hundreds of, of portraits of, of, the, of the good people who were put, getting rid of slavery, all fronted by the um, Quaker bankers who had funded the whole thing. And they were celebrating the fact that they'd actually managed to get rid of the slave trade and they're just working out how to get rid of the last few bits of it um, in places around the world. How many women were in that picture? Oh, there's about six or seven. But the amazing thing is that um, women weren't allowed at the conference. They invited people to send people from all different countries. Outrageous. And the Americans totally misunderstood that when they said, please send some people, they meant men and they said some women and they said well we're sorry we're not going to allow women and that totally shocked me that a, a, a group of very liberal people trying to be diverse trying to get rid of slavery couldn't actually get it through their heads that maybe some people who'd got uh, were lacking a Y chromosome could actually be let, let into the conference as well. I heard a little bird told me that uh, Ada Lovelace's mum was on that picture. Ada Lovelace is one of the few people who was actually allowed in the picture, but there was lots of other people who come come and weren't allowed in the picture. Um, and I wanted to make sure that eventually they did, they did allow women into the picture, but two of the women were American women and they were so shocked by what Britain had done to them that they went back to America and they decided that as soon as they dealt with slavery, that they would deal with women's rights. And I thought that's the kind of thing that we should be doing on the internet. We should be making sure that people are being seen on the internet, not just men, but people, men and women in proportionate numbers. That's brilliant. I love that anecdote, I love that story, and the fact that we're sat here at the Panker Centre discussing that and uh, chewing the fat. Are you hungry now? I think I'll take you to lunch. I'd love to come to lunch. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for listening. Thanks.